Hello and welcome. I want to make a quick introduction to a project I'm going to be working on here over the next couple of months. If you don't recognize the logo sitting above my head, this is from Model Off, which is the, the OG financial modeling competition uh, that ran from 2012 to 2019. Um, basically, the format was there were two, uh, two qualifying rounds every year which were done online. Uh, very similar to the FMWC, if you know that now, you'd have about two hours to complete three or four different case studies, uh, and then the, the top 16 people got selected each year to go to a live final in London or New York. Uh, one of the great things about Model Off was that all, or almost all, the questions that, that were prepared for it were shared on their website for free, and they were a super learning resource. I've written before about how you know, deliberate practice is a huge part of getting better at, at almost anything, but in particular at financial modeling and having these cases that are, you know, here's a financial model that you, in theory, should be able to build in 30, 40, 60 minutes. You can get immediate feedback on whether your answers were correct or not. It's a great way to, to get that kind of practice. Anyway, unfortunately, Model Off ended in 2019, uh, and not long after that, the, the cases stopped being available online. And there have been like partial collections made available in other places on Eloquence and other platforms like that. Um, but but never a complete one. And so with some help from the other kind of former question design team members, uh, I'm in the process now of, of gathering, well, I think I've done all the gathering, I'm putting them all online. Uh, so right now, uh, the the prelim rounds for 2013, 2014, and 2015 are already online, and the next, the rest of the years up to 2019 uh, are going to be on there within the next few weeks. Uh, I'm also going to be adding the finals questions, most of which have, have never been published before. Um, so that's, that's going to be something kind of new and exciting. But in addition to kind of publishing the questions, I'm also over the next few months, it's going to take a while because there's a lot of questions, uh, planning on publishing um, uh, sort of walkthrough videos and and the solutions that I build in the course of those videos uh, to the different problems. These are not going to be kind of, you know, best practice, here's what you, you might develop over a week. It's going to be, here's something that you can plausibly build in the length of time allocated for the question, um, which I think is probably the most useful way to learn. So having said that, that's going to be kind of most of the videos I post here for the next few months. I wanted to say a few words about the best way to use these. Um, so number one, the first thing you should do uh, is not watch my video. It's try the question um, because you will learn 10 times more uh, by doing it actively, by doing it yourself, by trying, struggling, failing. Um, you know, if you want to try in sort of hard mode, you can try and do it within the allocated time, Or, but you don't have to. There's no, no reason to. If it's a 30-minute question and it takes you two hours, but you learn a lot in the process, that's totally fine. So try the question, check your answers. The, the questions for Model Off are generally designed to help you make sure you're on the right path. Um, because the nature of a lot of these financial models is, you know, if you get the, the revenue modeling wrong, then it's kind of impossible to get the EBITDA or the net income or various other things correct. And so you you got to make sure that, that you're right on the first question before you have any chance of being right on the later questions. And so the, the questions were typically, you know, multiple choice. There's like four or six different answers, but usually they're two, you know, it might be like, some number of millions of dollars accurate to the dollar or accurate to the cent or something like that. They're, they're quite precise answers. And so it's very easy to see, you know, if your answer is among the answer choices, you can be almost sure that everything you've built up to that point is working well. And if it's not, you can be pretty sure it's not. So check your answers and then circle back, try again, debug, you know, use, use what you figured out from the feedback from the answers to figure out, okay, where in the model is something going wrong? Once you've done that, and maybe done it a couple of times, if you're still stuck, if you're still not able to get the answers, or if you've got all the answers, but you think, wow, I can't even imagine how I could do that in less than two hours. What does doing this in 40 minutes look like? Then that's the time to check the solution. So, you know, either watch the video as I'll be posting them, or whenever I post the video, I'll also be uh, posting the, the kind of model that I arrive at at the end of the video uh, on, the same, um, on the same Google Drive that has... Uh, the questions and answers and, and input models, um, which I'll have a link to below this video and below all the other model of videos that I post. Um, and then most important, once you've checked the solution, once you've figured out what went wrong, build it again, put the solution away and try again from scratch. That's the, the kind of the most basic process. If you do that on even a, a subset of these questions, because, you know, there's, there were seven years, two rounds a year, three to four case studies, there, there are dozens of 
cases across a very wide range of different topics. So, you know, maybe you're just focusing on a particular thing you want to learn. Maybe you're trying to broaden yourself and you try to dabble in everything. There's lots to work with here. If you spend, you know, a total of two hours on some 40 minute question, you spend an hour building it the first time, a little bit slowly, a little bit of debugging, a little bit of checking, spend half an hour looking at the solution model, spend half an hour building it again, you'll learn a lot from that experience. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, number one suggestion I would add is keep a record for each question. Like on this date, I did this question. It took me this long and you can record your score, but the score isn't the really important part. I, what I would keep a record of is what parts didn't work. What parts did you get wrong? As in, I couldn't get the balance sheet to balance. I couldn't, I didn't get the cash flow correct. I ended up with a circularity, something like that because those are the things that you'll see come up over and over again as themes if there's an area that you're struggling with, and that will tell you what to go back and work on. And then, by the way, this is something I did, um, you know, to, after a, a couple of years of model offense, there was a, a kind of stable of past questions to work on. I, you know, I, I practiced them a lot, and I knew exactly, you know, some of them were easy for me, like the, some of the game ones I found super easy, because, you know, the, the gap in my knowledge was more the financial modeling side of things. Um, and so I just, you know, I, I did them a couple of times, then I left them alone. But the ones that I found hard, I would go back to again and again. And that repetition really kind of builds muscle memory. Second option is try and build without the questions. Because like I said, the questions are sort of a framework. So, you know, if, if you're new and you're like, okay, I've got all this data, but I don't even know what questions I ought to be answering or, you know, where should I start? Then the questions are a very helpful signpost. Okay, so the, the, the first and easiest thing I should be able to work out is what is the revenue in year two? Okay, revenue in year one, times growth rate. I can do that. All right, what's the next thing I should be able to figure out? And the questions kind of guide you through. Some of the older ones don't have as many questions. They, they won't help you as much, but the, the later ones um, are, are kind of more helpful that way. But if you're comfortable with the topic, try and build the model without the questions. Just here's the input data. Here are the assumptions. Obviously, this, this doesn't work for everything. And then just try to build the model that you would build if this were your business. And then when you look at the questions, ask yourself, how many of these questions have I already answered? How many of these questions can I quickly answer by like flexing an input variable? And how many of these require me to do some real rebuilding? And the more you can shift toward the earlier end of that spectrum, the better, because that means that you've you've built a model that covers all the main things, that has flexibility for changes, that kind of thing. And then the last thing uh, is try the finals questions. So I'm, I'm prioritizing putting the rounds up because they're they're shorter, they're simpler, they're much better for kind of you know getting your feet wet. Uh, but I am at some point going to put up finals questions, which I think I mentioned a lot of them have, have not been published before. But uh, they're they are bigger and they're they're significantly harder. Uh, but they're also in some ways more like the the challenge you'll face in real life models as opposed to you know, the, something that has to get done in 40 minutes necessarily kind of really drills down on one topic, whereas the, a lot of the finals questions, you know, build large, complex models of companies um, with all kinds of wrinkles and nuances. Um, and so that's that's a great way to, to kind of get more advanced. Anyway, enough yakking from me today. Uh, good luck. I hope that you uh, hope that you try these questions. I hope that the videos help, but I also hope that you don't look at the videos until you have tried them. Uh, if you get a fraction as much out of these questions as I did over the many years <clears throat> that I uh, that I competed and that I you know went back and learned from them, uh, you'll be off to a great start. All right, I will. Oh, I'll be starting with uh, with round one of 2013. I think next week. So if you want to take the journey with me, then you can start with that one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.